Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome back after a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys had some fun. Um, as I'm sure you all heard, there was an announcement made on Friday about uh, reopening the schools. So, under specific protocol, um, we will be bringing students back into the school, and you can ask your parents uh, how that's going to work. But basically, our class has been divided in two. There's one group of seven, there's one group of eight, there's an A group and a B group, and those will be announced later. And you will come to school in your designated group. So if you're an A group, you'll be here at school on Mondays from 8.15 to 3, and you'll be here on Wednesdays from 8.15 to 3. If you are the B group, you will be in here Tuesdays 8.15 to 3 and Thursdays 8.15 to 3, and it will be distance learning on Fridays, okay? Um, we are still working out a lot of details, but please send me your questions, your comments um, directly to my Bus Dojo or my email, or you can reach out directly to Mr. Scott or Dr. Holland as they have more information than I do. So with that being said, I'm excited to get to have you guys back in the classroom and see you on a regular basis in person. It's very exciting. So let's get started with our work today, and um, we'll only be doing this a couple more times before we're doing it right here in the classroom together. So yeah, last Friday was the 25th. So we have a couple of numbers that we need to get putting on our, our calendar here. So if Friday was the 25th, Saturday would be the 26th, Sunday would be the 27th, and then Monday would be the 28th. And I just said Monday, so you know we're, we're at school on Monday. Remember I taught you to remember Mondays because it's usually the day we come back from a weekend, okay? We're still in this uh, month of September. This is going to be the last full week of September. And we're in the year of 2020. So putting it all together, it is Monday, September 28th, 2020. And we will write that on our little date board here. September stays the same. So number nine stays the same. We're just changing 25 to 28. All right. So there's your date for today, 9-28-2020. Now, do you guys remember what season we're in? We just started a new one last week. Yeah, we're in the season of fall. Blustery weather, a little bit more rain, um, shorter daylight hours, those sorts of things, okay? And the weather outside has been rainy and cold, so we'll just go ahead and leave that there. Um, I want to get started on our reading lesson because this week we are starting a new book. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. Um, my mask here is clipped to this little mitten clip, which is attached to my shirt. So if I have to take my mask off for any reason, I can just drop it and it stays right there. And I have one of these little mitten clips on your desk in the classroom, one for each of you when you come here. There's also a fancy water bottle for each of you because we no longer are allowed to use the drinking fountains. So each of you will get this fancy schmancy Raymond water bottle and I will write your name on each one just like I have for my own okay so that's how we'll be drinking water throughout the day because water is very important all right so back to reading the story that we're gonna read this week is called the recess queen all right this story is written by Alexis O'Neill it's illustrated by Laura Huliska Beef all right here we go. Mean Jean was the recess queen, and nobody said any different. Nobody swung until Mean Jean swung. Nobody kicked until Mean Jean kicked, and nobody bounced until Mean Jean bounced. So she's the boss. She doesn't look very nice. If kids ever crossed her, she'd push him and smush him. Lollapalooshum, hammer him, slammer him, kits and kajammer him. She sounds kind of scary. Whew. Say what? Mean Jean growled. Say who? Mean Jean howled. 
say you. Just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way until one day. So there she is, being bossy with everybody else on the playground. Everyone looks a little scared of her. A new kid came to school. Katie Sue, a teeny tiny kid. A tiny kid. A kid you might scare with a jump and a boo. There she is. Katie Sue. But when the recess ball went ringity ring, the kid ran ziggity zing for the playground gate. Katie Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid you might scare with a jump and a boo was too new to know about Mean Jean, the recess queen. She just went out there and had a hullabaloo. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd. Like always, she pushed kids and smushed kids, lollapalooshed kids, hammered them and slammered them, kits them and kajammered them, and she charged after that Katie Sue. Yikes. Say what, she growled. Say who, she howled. Say you. She snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Queen Jean swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces. And she figured that would set the record straight. She's blowing steam out of her ears. She's so mad. Katie Sue's like, what? She figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back. Just as sassy as could be, she said, how did you get so bossy? Then that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. Oh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as lightning. Bouncity, bouncity, bounce. Kickity, kickity, kick. Swingity, swingity, swing. <laughs> mean Jean thundered close behind. Bouncity, kickity, swingity. The recess queen was not amused. She raced and chased in your face with that Katie Sue. No one spoke, no one moved, and no one breathed. Then, from her pack, pulled Katie Sue a jump rope, clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue, let's try this jump rope out. Here's one thing true, until that day, no one dared ask Mean Jean to play. But that Katie Sue just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. I mean, Jean doesn't look so mad anymore. Hmm. Jean just gaped and stared as if too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more. I like popcorn. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. What? Then, from the side, a kid called out, Go, Jean, go! And too surprised to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue. I like cookies. I like tea. I want you to jump with me. Oh! Now she looks like she's having fun. The rope whizzed and slapped faster and faster, and the rope spun and flapped faster, faster, till it caught in a tangled disaster, and they just giggled and jumped again. Well, now when recess rolls around, that playground's one great place. At the school bell's ringity ring, those two girls race zingity zing out to the classroom door. Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids and lollapalooch kids or hammer em, slam em, or kits and kajammer em because she's having too much fun rompity romping with her friends. Now everyone's having a good time. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, hoppity, skippity, jippity, ringity, zingity, 
Yes! Well, that has a nice, happy ending. What do you think of that book? I like that book. Alrighty, so you're pulling out your literacy packet, week four, grade one, 928 through 92. Make sure you write your name right down here on the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to open up to the first page. All right, so page one, Monday, 928, right up here at the top. Okay, write your name and the date. My name is Paul. The date is 9 28 2020. Readers make predictions as they read. What do you think will happen when Katie Sue goes out to the playground? Well, we read the whole story, so can't really make a prediction, but what did you think? What did you think? Do you remember back before you knew the whole story what you thought was going to happen? I kind of had a feeling that that uh, Katie Sue was probably going to get pushed around a little bit, but maybe they'd become friends. So just go ahead and draw a picture of what you thought or what you would have guessed about Katie Sue. You know, she you knew she was kind of mean. She liked to push kids around the playground, smush kids, Lollapalooza kids. And, um, and then this new girl came along who doesn't know the rules. And what did you think was going to happen? I thought she was going to get pushed around. Okay, so go ahead and draw a picture of that and then put your sentence, I thought she would get pushed around. Period. Make sure you capitalize the first letter of the first word in the sentence and put a period at the end. Okay, so I'm going to draw Katie Sue on the ground, getting pushed around. And Mean Jean up here, standing tall. And of course, you're going to do a better thorough job, color your picture, but you can pause the video. I thought she would get pushed around. Okay, when you're done with that, go ahead and turn to the next page. The back here, Mean Jean wanted to be the boss. Okay, so we're going to go through each word and we're going to find all the nouns. Mean, is that a person, place, or thing? Nope. Gene, that is a person. So use your blue, and you could shade over the, the nouns. Um, the next word is wanted. Nope. To be the boss. Boss is also a noun because it's a kind of a person. Okay, and then count all the words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I count seven. Okay, there you go. Mean Jean wanted to be the boss. When you're done with that, turn to page three and we're doing op word families. Op word families, okay? So this is a cop. You can just write cop next to that. Cop, C-O-P, mop. M-O-P, mop, right there. This is hop. Hop starts with a H. H-O-P. This one is top. T-O-P. What do you think this one is? Pop. Pop. Starts with a P-O-P. 
and then you can make one up on your own over here. So let's see. How about stop? There's a stop sign for you. Stop. All right, so then moving along down here, I can hop with the mop. Well, this one doesn't have a mop, and this one doesn't have a mop, so it must be this one, number one. Number two, it will pop to the top. Probably the popcorn pops to the top, so that's gonna be number two. Make sure you cross out one and two, okay? And then number three, the cop did not stop. So there's only one cop, and that must be number three. Cross out three once you're done. You can pause this video, catch up with me, make sure you get all the right words labeled, and I believe that's your last, that is the last page of reading for today. All right, so stay tuned for your writing and your math work a little bit later this afternoon.